Hi everyone, welcome to this vlog and welcome to the week in my life. Most days I start my morning at 7 a.m. and ideally I wake up before my daughter to have some minutes alone. This was my lucky morning and I got to have a peaceful skincare routine. It was a very cold and gloomy morning in Germany and I was extra grateful that I don't have to go anywhere because I work from home. While my husband brings my daughter to the kindergarten, I prepare myself breakfast. That day I was having a toast with salmon and with some weird guacamole. I absolutely love this part of my morning. Breakfast is without a doubt my favorite meal of the day and also just this peace and quiet after a kind of hectic morning, getting my kid ready for the daycare and then everyone leaves and I just get to enjoy my breakfast while slowly starting to work. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Paulina. So today is Monday and I'm recording a week in my life and I live in Germany in a small German town and the weather just completely turned today. Yesterday it was still like 25 degrees and it was almost, it felt like you could just be in a pool or on the beach and then the weather just started to change and it's really really cold, raining on and off and it's just really cozy and completely like totally on autumn vibes from one minute to another almost. So I'm feeling really cozy at home today and I have a small daughter who is almost two and Mondays just hit differently when you have kids. If you have kids who, that go to the kindergarten, you know what I'm talking about. Especially considering that I'm working remotely. As much as I love to have my daughter on the weekend and embrace kind of the cows, but then the Monday comes and it's quiet. I can be on my own with my laptop, just working in my routine and I kind of enjoy it. And you know, I'm happy on Friday evenings because it's the weekend and you know, we're all happy on Fridays, but then I'm also kind of happy on Mondays when I'm left on my own. If you know, you know. Anyways, I just wanted to share with you my week and what I'm up to this week. I actually <laughs> blocked my Instagram today because I just realized that I'm spending so much time scrolling the stupid reels. It's just crazy how addictive they are and how easy it is to just continue because there's no limit. It's just unlimited feed that goes on and on and on. So I realized that I spent way too much time on it, on it and I just want to try to go one week without Instagram. Let's see how it goes. I have never done any sort of like social media detox, but I don't think it's a, such a big deal, at least right now. Like I'm still gonna have access to YouTube and other things. It's just specifically Instagram that I decided to block for myself. So yeah, that's one thing. Another thing is, I actually want to kind of try to do something differently this week when I'm done with work because I'm really bad at finding ideas or finding things to do. I get so caught up in the same routine. I'm one of these people who, you know, just ends up going to... If I'm going for a walk, I'm going to the same place. If I go to, I don't know, a cafe, I go to the same cafe. If I go to some shops, I always go to the same shops and buy the same things. I'm just so bad at, you know, kind of bringing up variety and bringing up like some something interesting in my life. And I constantly find myself like going down again and then I kind of push myself to do something differently. So the past two weeks I was really, really bored, especially coming back from holidays. We spent three weeks in Spain with my family uh, in August and then coming back to Germany from Spain, it's always like such a contrast and a little bit of a shock and vice versa. Also because we live in a small German town and there is already not so much going on. But anyways, I was really bored in the past couple of weeks. I just, you know, pick up my daughter after work. We go to the playground, like always the same ones and, you know, just doing the same things. And I, I, was, I was really bored. 
and that's not good for my mental health so yeah i want to bring a little bit of variety <laughs> into this week I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do because as I said the weather changed and I think it's just gonna rain a lot this week and yeah then in this case I cannot really explore new new places outside but anyways we will see what we can do so yeah welcome to this video welcome to this channel and I hope you like it <music> After work that day I actually stayed and journaled a little bit because I was feeling triggered to take my phone and scroll and I didn't want to do that. And I went to pick up my daughter and we went for a walk and it was very nice, the weather cleared up, it was sunny, we went to some shops to check for autumn decorations which is something that I really like to do in this season and then we went to a playground and just spent time on the fresh air and on the sun which was really lovely and actually we ended up getting some apples from apple trees that grow now all over our town which was very cute and it was dinner time so i started to feed my daughter and prepare myself some salad and also lunch for the next day and i was feeling very productive because i was also recording myself while doing all that and this is actually my favorite salad i eat this all the time and it's a tuna salad with just avocado tomatoes and whatever else you have in the fridge and after it when my daughter goes to bed it's my time to unwind Hi everyone, so it's Tuesday and I just, I'm just taking a little break in the middle of my working day um, to tell you a little bit about what I actually do. I'm a community engagement specialist in a German company. I'm not gonna go into details about it, it's nothing too exciting, but I'm really appreciative of my current position and this current job because it's 100% remote, it's a German company, so I'm not a freelancer or anything like that. And it just gives me a lot of flexibility, of especially having a small kid who, you know, recently started to go to the kindergarten and constantly gets sick. I need to have the flexibility, you know, I really appreciate the hours, I love the team. So yeah, I'm really happy with my job at this point in life. Which, by the way, it's not my thing. Like, I always kind of hated my jobs and usually I get really bored after a very short period of time and I want to change whatever it is I'm doing. I have never stayed longer in a company than two years and that was like a really long time. But I also freelanced for several years because, yeah, as I said, I just uh, kind of tend to change 
my jobs very often. I already changed my field several times and I'm not really like sure where my path is leading me, where this path is leading me and where I'm going to end up. But yeah, at this point in my life, I'm happy with my job and I couldn't ask for more while having a little toddler to take care of. So after work, I actually decided to go to the gym today. I'm gonna go by bike. I have to cycle there and I really like it. And since it's not raining while well, the weather is still kind of okay and it's not too cold or rainy, I want to take advantage and go to the gym a couple of times per week because I can see how when it's the middle of the winter, of German winter, when it's really dark and gray, I can see how I'm not gonna want to go to the gym ever. So yeah, since we're not there yet, I want to take advantage. Good morning everyone, today is actually Thursday and I didn't vlog yesterday because there was nothing going on during my working hours and then after work I actually went to a friend's place to have a little play date for the kids and that was super super nice. I came home and I was so happy and like kind of energized and I always feel so happy when I spend time with people which I don't do a lot because to be honest we don't have many friends here in Germany. We moved three years ago and it's really hard to meet people due to the language and you know honestly in Germany in general I've heard so many people even Germans saying that it's really hard to make friends here and we live in a really small town. So when I do meet people I'm really really happy. Actually today I have quite a few calls uh, during my working day. And that's why I'm a little bit more put together already at 9 in the morning and I actually have like an online activity, it's what we call and it's basically a group online call in Zoom which I'm going to be leading and I'm a little bit nervous about that to be honest. I don't know how many people join, usually not many people join. This is something that I have to do once a month and it's still a little bit outside of my comfort zone. But I also kind of like it if it goes well, like it's a good feeling when you did something outside of your comfort zone and then it's like the weight of your shoulders is lifted. So yeah, today's gonna be quite a productive day for me. And after work I do want to go to the gym but I've been saying it all week and I haven't gone yet and it's already Thursday. But there is a yoga class today uh, that I really really like. But it's like I knew that this was gonna happen. That once it gets cold and grey and like really dark, I'm just not gonna want to go. Especially if it's a really late class. But yeah, we will see. I'm not promising anything. Hi! Hey Polina. Hey Karen. I can't remember mine. I was uh, really into Edward Cullen when I was a teenager. While well, it was a big crush. But not, nothing in the childhood I can't remember. <laughs> so one call down. Now I'm having another call. I one to one with my team manager. And this will be just a short 30 minutes call. But it's always such a good feeling to like be done with a day full of calls and have like a quieter day after that. I love this feeling, especially tomorrow, it's Friday. Hello! Hi! <laughs> I'm good. Uh, I have a... Is that what's making you nervous? Yes, yes, I just yeah. really hope. Like, I was promoting it this time because I'm like, I cannot have another one with just Will. <laughs>
Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I did not expect that. I actually didn't go to yoga class uh, because it was a later class at, it's at 7 and I was like, I have to wait for it and I don't want to go to the gym so late. So I decided to go running and oh my god, I have like a massive release of endorphins. I was running and listening to music and I haven't done that in literally months. I don't remember last time I did it and it felt so good I, I feel so good it's crazy every time i do that i say i'm gonna do this more often and i don't does this happen to you guys look at these views this is crazy and the sky is there clearing up and the sun is going through this is a town where we live and i went all the way up here and there is like not a single soul anywhere like it's crazy and it's gorgeous even though the weather is not so good but at least it's not raining but tell me guys how are you and your fitness routine or sport routine exercising routine i feel like i'm the kind of person who like i always do something but i'm not I'm not like fully a sporty person, but it's not like I don't do anything. And I think a lot of people are kind of like that. I will do maybe like one, two times per week, some class or some sort of exercises, but that's it. So I don't know, I feel, I struggle with it a little bit because it's like, I make an effort at least a little bit, but I'm never like in a very good shape that I'm like, wow, like, you know, I exercise really regularly. You know what I mean? I don't know. And especially with a, with a kid, it's more complicated because uh, if my husband is going to the gym, then I cannot go. So we all, always have to rotate and, you know, uh, kind of replace each other. So yeah, that's kind of how it is. But oh my God, I'm so happy. I think I'm gonna turn back because I, I'm so far away from home. This sheep. How cute is that? You're watching this and you live close to the nature. I dare you to go for a run. I swear it just makes you happy. Like being in the nature and running like this. Oh my God, amazing. Hi everyone, good morning. It's finally Friday, we made it. It's Friday morning and I'm going to finish this video here. And I just wanted to jump in here and say, I'm really happy with how this week went. Um, as I told you in the beginning of this video, I was really bored in my routine. I was doing exactly the same things after work and during the work, even the same breakfast. Like I was just so bored and doing exactly the same. And I decided to consciously do some things differently and it really worked like I was doing some small changes maybe I'm doing something different for breakfast or doing something different after work like I met up with a friend which I never do I went for a run yesterday which I haven't done in like six months which was amazing I'm still like on a high after that and it really worked. I'm in such a better mood this week. And even more, this week felt longer, which is actually a good thing for me because you know what happened? Some weeks I was so bored and I was shocked of how quickly my days passed and how quickly my week from like Monday to Friday passed. And you would think it's a good thing that like, oh, from Monday to Friday, it's so fast. And then it's Friday again. But no, it was actually scaring me of how fast the time flies because you know they say that the older you get the faster the time go flies and yeah that was really scary for me and that is also one of the reasons why i wanted to you know bring some diversity into my days and yeah it worked <laughs> it def this week definitely felt longer but it felt good in a way and my <laughs> let's call it social media detox but actually just my blog instagram i'm also really happy i feel like i had much more time to do things i mean i have to confess that sometimes when i was triggered and i just wanted to scroll something i would go on youtube instead of instagram and then i would just like trying to find a video or something to watch but you know what because youtube videos are so much longer and you actually have to commit to like 10 at least 10 minutes of watching it 
whatever was not interesting me i was just like looking for the next thing and like trying to find something else and in the end i would end up not watching anything because like nothing caught my attention so that was kind of interesting i realized that the reels are so addictive because they are so short so even if it's a crappy reel and it's nothing really worth it to watch it's so short that you don't feel like you wasted your time but when it's an acc accumulation of that and you do it for one hour then it's a major waste of time but anyways i'm gonna finish this video here thank you so much for watching if you're here in the end of this video as i was editing it i realized that it does look quite realistic like this is literally my life like this is this is what I do after work, this is what I eat and so on and you know, there is clothes hanging here which this room is always full of clothes and a mess and you can see like here are some toys just li lying around and you know, there is more clothes here so this video is definitely not like perfect aesthetics or anything I know but it is quite realistic so I hope you like it and if you are still here watching it until the end thank you so much for being here I hope you subscribe and to this new channel and yeah I will see you in the next video bye bye